Audi Volks und willkommen zurück zu Wildflowers. Und ist Der Schuh. Good morning, dear. I have some medication ready at Amira's clinic. I don't mind getting it myself, but no. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm here to help with. I'll pick it up instead. Well, that would be a kindness. Dienst schon lieferdienst. Ole Hazels Medizin aus. A lot of folks think Shelby's an odd one, living in the woods all on his own. But it's hard to outlive the ones you love, and old Shelby's lost more than most. He's got a lot to teach for those willing to listen. Der alte Schell. Otto. Hello. How are things on your farm? I've been thinking. Perhaps you would like to try your hand at raising livestock. Like cute little sheep and stuff? That would be so much fun. Great. All we have to do is rebuild the broken down ranch by Thomas's farm. Wait, what? The previous rancher sourced all of the livestock for farms on the island. If you find the materials to rebuild the ranch, I can ask Parker to fix it up and we can flip it to a new rancher who has inquired about moving here. Would make us a tidy little profit and you could then keep chickens, cows and such like. Uh, okay, I'll help. <laughs> Wonderful. Just bring the materials to Parker when they're ready. Parker and Lena are wonderful citizens, so industrious. It's a shame their children don't take after them. They're just kids. There's still plenty of time. Maybe. But the number of places in town hall where those two have hidden whoopee cushions is obscene. <coughs> Baupause. Und jetzt bei Parkers Dienstleistung Auftrag gegeben. How long ago did you move here, Kim? Just over a year ago. I like it so far. People here are more chill than I expected for a small island town. Some folks still get my pronouns wrong. But at least no one here calls me by the wrong name. 
I know. I'm setting a really high bar there, but, well, yeah. I remember that you were really into the speech and debate club when you were in high school. You used to practice your talking points on me when you babysat. Oh, I remember that, too. I thought about going to law school. But that would mean leaving Fairhaven for too long, and I just can't be separated from this place. This looks great, Tara. Ja, gehen wir ein bisschen in den Wald. Tara Wild! To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to pick up some medication. Uh, for my grandmother? Ah, uh, yes. Here it is. It's very sweet of you to run Hazel's errands. Her mobility has decreased markedly this year. But lest you think I only treat Hazel, I want you to know I can help you too. I'm not sick. I mean, I don't, I don't think I am. Do I look sick? No, no. You're adjusting to a new job with much more manual labor. Each night that you don't go to bed on time, you lower your immune system's capabilities. Working outdoors in the rain and cold can have the same effect. Eventually, you'll leave yourself open to colds and viruses. And when you come down with something, your energy levels plummet. If that <coughs> happens, come see me for a restorative. Otherwise, you might pass out. Oh gosh, I would never live that down. Sometimes I have a difficult time sourcing all the ingredients. So you may see requests on the town notice board. Please fulfill them if you can. Seeing patients takes up most of my time. I'll, I'll do, do my best. Every time I think I've finished all my patients' insurance paperwork, I find more. Our insurance system is almost bad enough to drive me out of this field. <sighs> almost. Man, the pollen is killer today, and not in a good way. I'll be glad when it's summer and I can give my inhaler a vacation. I didn't know you had asthma. 
Yeah, but it's not as bad as when I was a kid. My mom used to hover over me every time I sneezed. Your dad was the one who ran the bar, right? What did your mom do when your parents still lived here? She set up a pharmacy where Amira's clinic is now. Some folks didn't take her seriously at first, seeing that she wasn't from Fairhaven or a doctor. But you only disrespect Kaya and Tenbu Haas awesome. once before you learn never ever to do it again. Your father-in-law just taught me how to fish! But I bet you're an expert by now, huh? Well, not really. I get seasick, you see. You could surf fish? Oh, I wouldn't want to risk hitting Kai. You never know when he might take a wave all the way into shore. Oh, come here a bit on the strand. Swimming. Bruno's giving you a fishing rod too, huh? He tried to get Juliet into fishing, but she didn't take the bait. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I think he's just lonely. <laughs> Lena told me when you guys were kids there used to be a movie theater here. Yeah, I remember that. It only had one screen, so you just had to watch whatever was playing. Oh, still, that was something. Sometimes I think about ordering a projector with my babysitting money. Blaubeeren sind parat. Ik wil even die meid. Ik wil even tegen. Hi Thomas. Ik heb iets voor je. Ik maakte een groot batch van stoel last night. Too much for just me. Oh, dat is zo kind. Maar je had niet moeten doen dat. Het is rude om een gift van food, Tara. I did it once at my uncle's wedding. An elder saw me say no and let me have it. Oh no. What did you do? I took the plate from the woman offering it, of course. Gave it to my cousin, Albie. He's always happy for seconds. Is it hard living in Fairhaven when the rest of your tribe is in Milkwater? No. It 
was harder for my mom, but she raised us with all the same traditions, like respecting elders. I feel at home when I'm there. Well, thanks for this too, Thomas. You're welcome. I better get back to my chores. Bra. Bara om Thomas din nya bekanta. I'll need some kind of digging tool. Find the key to the I could eat some food.
Reiner und Reiner Sand. Der benutzt wird, um Glas herzustellen. Mit Standard Sand. Nein. Der Wiener Finn. <lacht> This makes the best bread, even if he gives me a hard time for <laughs> always leaving the first slice in front of the door of my house. And why do you do that? Oh, it's just an old superstition my dad taught me. It's supposed to appease the house elves. Of course, I, I, I don't, don't believe in any of that. <laughs> Not really. Messenger Cameron says that the first step in climbing the mountain of consciousness is leaving behind old beliefs that no longer serve you. Natalia kann Eisenerz. Eisenbaren ein. Eisenbaren können für Festen. Visited Amira, this is for you. My own medicine <coughs> for you. I'm the luckiest grandmother on the island. <laughs> of course, Grandma. Anytime. Medizinische Lieferdienst. Aufgabe abgeschlossen. Als Belohnung erhältst du Unizität. Hurra! Hazel was so excited you were coming, it's all she could talk about. Why have I never seen you before now? 
Oh, uh, my dad and grandma had a falling out. It's kind of a long story. Hey, say no more. I know what it's like to be estranged from family. Well, I'm glad that they patched things up. Sometimes Francis invites me to join him for a romantic beach stroll when he goes searching for pearls, but just look at me. I don't tan, I burn, painfully. Do you have the potatoes and mushrooms yet? Working on <laughs> <sighs> Fine. fixed up the mine. <laughs> That's so awesome. awesome. Otto was never going to get around to it. I saw Francis earlier today and he actually looked excited about going to work. Helena passed a few years before Sophia lost Giacomo. I try to give her the best of my catch to cook up in a diner. She's always blasting that music, but I don't mind. If it helps her to dance away her sorrows, I say all the better. Oh.
Yes, you are ready. 